Yo, so we back with another episode of Behind the Animation. We doing the Gotta Be Mo reboot. This episode two. Let's get it. So this is how Gotta Be Mo used to look. I done learned so much with Anime Studio and Moho that we can't even go out like this. It's time to upgrade the characters. Okay, so we back with the new character upgrades. This is the upgraded version of Jermaine Mo. This looks great. Like I had so much fun doing this. I added so much detail to it. This first look is just him with, you know, no clothes on. So I can always customize this one to start new things. I added tattoos to him. Y'all see he got the ballless life tattoo on his arm over here. He got a J Mo tattoo. You can't really see that till the body turn, but it's cool. And then I did some other versions of him with different outfits on. So this first one is the away uniform for the team that he plays for. Can't tell y'all too much because y'all learn that in the story. But yeah, this is the away uniform. Got some different shoes on each time. We're going to get into the shoes a little bit later in this video. Um, this one is the home jersey. And I actually like this one the best. But the shoes that go with it, you know, I kind of went crazy on them. This gray one here is the practice jersey. You gotta have practice jerseys when you play for the team. So we made that too. Different pair of shoes on that one. Every outfit got a different pair of shoes. I'm telling y'all the detail going crazy. Y'all know Jermaine always wore that navy blue shirt. So I had to put that back on, you know, put a little, I think I seen that image on Fashion Nova. So I gave him a little Fashion Nova shirt with some nice little kicks and jeans. So this is the whole Jermaine Mo lineup. Next we go get into Alyssa and I'm gonna show you all the stuff I did for her. So here go Alyssa. If you know what she looked like at the beginning, this is a huge upgrade. Like this character is crazy and the details that I added, unmatched. Like um, she has tattoos too. She only got one tattoo though. I didn't go too crazy on tats with her because you know sometimes females don't really have that many tats. Um, but what I did do on this one is I did different hairstyles. Come on now, y'all. You know they used to look exactly the same in every episode. I done put different outfits in here, different hairstyles, different shoes. I'm trying to go crazy, y'all. And everything is like my own made-up brand. Like, um, these are... I didn't come up with a name yet, but yeah, them joints crazy. Um, third outfit, you can see she got a different hairstyle. I never used to change the hairstyles in these, but this like a little, you know, lounge outfit, little hoodie and, um, and yoga pants. Um, this one put a little cardigan on, um, a little decent little outfit, but the boots is where I really did my thing on this outfit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I went crazy with them. And when we get into the shoes, I'm gonna show you the different angles of these shoes and different versions and stuff like that. But I really tried to add as much detail as I can in this so that, you know, I'm trying to make this cartoon look like it be on TV or something like that. Next up, we got Alan. I really tried to go crazy with this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not done with him yet, though. I still gotta add, like, his other uniforms and stuff like that. But as you can see, he got more tattoos than Jermaine. Um, I tried to give him a little, you know, a little sleeve. Try to do something different with him. I want all the characters on this show to be OD unique. Like, I don't want nobody to look alike. Nobody had the same stuff on. Um, maybe they have the same shoes on, but different colorways. Like, I really want to go crazy. Um, here, I had to hurry up and fix his shoe because I realized I wasn't done with Alan yet. So in the next video, I'll show you the upgrades to Alan and stuff like that. I would do some live streaming, but um, my face cam and stuff not really set up yet. So I could set that up if y'all want me to. Just let me know in the comment section down below. But let's get into the next subject. Okay, we here with the shoes. Now, these shoes is inspired by the Air Jordan 7. And every shoe, I changed the name and called it something different. So these, the Air Gordons. They got a different logo. Um, it kind of looked like a Jordan 7, but I switched it up. But I want everything to be, you know, somewhat unique. Next, we got the Chelsea boots that I threw together for Alyssa. Um, Y'all seen the front view on her character design, but on this one, I did the side view, the front view, and these look really good. Like, I'm telling y'all, the detail that I'm adding this year is going to go crazy. Now, these is the, uh, I think we call these the Devon Waynes, maybe? If I'm wrong, I, I don't know. But all the shoes are basically based off, like, NBA player names. So, like, LeBron James, Devon Wayne. Like, you, you get what I'm saying? Then these, I modeled off, like, the Jordan 9, I mean, the LeBron 9. 
And then this shoe is my favorite one that I did so far. Um, by the colorway, you can tell what player I modeled this after. And it says it um, on the screen. So these are the Jamelo Wall ones. Um, hit me in the comment section. Let me know if y'all can guess what character this one is based off of. Because I, I don't know if y'all gonna know. But hit me in the comments and let me know. But I'm having so much fun with this, man. But this is like the the Nike um, knockoff. Um, I mean, it's not a knockoff in the series. It's like a real brand. But um, I kind of made it based off of some Nikes. And I'm trying to think of a name for it. So, man, if y'all could hit me in the comments down below and give me a name that we could substitute for Nike in the show. Um, and try to make, you know, a new brand out of it. In each video, I'm gonna go through the comments and you know pick out a couple comments that stand out. I truly want to thank y'all for all the uh, encouraging words. Like it, it really means a lot to me, and it really motivates me to keep going with Gotta Be Mo and just creating content in general. Um, the first comment I want to point out is from where is it? It says F54. Um, I think that's his username. Um, it says We Getting Peak Again. Not gonna lie, that show was one of my favorites throughout quarantine. Um, bringing that up. Oh, binging it over and over and excited for what the reboot will come with. Yo, thank you so much for that. Um, F54, I truly appreciate that. It's comments like that that really keep me going. Um, man, honestly, if it wasn't for y'all, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. Like, gotta be more, gotta be more, gotta be more. Um, I don't even know if I would have, you know, the motivation to keep going with it. So, man, I truly appreciate y'all for that. Um, shout out to you for that comment. Um, and then I usually, I, I don't think I'm going to use this time to address the negative comments, but they leaving them. So, um, the first comment is, um, you just now doing 2.5 rigs that you started out doing in Moho. I don't get what he mean by that. Um, I even copycatted your little round round rig, no problem. I've been stopped doing animation and have rigged access just to give away, but you act too Hollywood when I emailed you. Let's break this one down. Um, just now doing 2.5 rigs. Um, I had always been doing this smart bone since season two of Lil Ron Ron, and that came out in 2017. And Moho wasn't out yet, it was still Anime Studio, so I don't know what he talked about there. Um, I even caught P Cottage of Lil Ron Ron rig, no problem. Yo, shout out to you. Um, that's dope. Um, I've been stopped doing animation and I have rigged access just to give away. That part kind of confused me. It says, I've been stopped doing rigged animation. Why would you... <laughs> I, I'm not trying to be funny. Why did you tell me that? I don't... What does that have to do with me? Um, and have rigged assets just to give away. Yo, that's fire. Like, you should put them online. You know, make a website. Um, and give them away. Or sell them. You know, do your thing. Um, but you act too Hollywood when I emailed you. If you emailed me trying to give me stuff to use to animate... I probably wouldn't have took it because I like animating my stuff myself. Like, that's just me. It don't have nothing to do with being Hollywood. It don't have nothing to do with having followers. Um, Y'all tell me I barely get views. So, uh, it don't got nothing to do with that. I just like drawing my own stuff. Um, I like rigging my own stuff. I like the process. I don't want to just take something and just go with it. I want to be able to do the whole thing. Um, the same way I show y'all in this video. So, that's enough of the negative comments. Let's do it one more positive comment to end it off on. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, actually, we're gonna take this comment from um, AW Fresh. Shout out to him. That's my boy AW. He also plays the um, the voice of Alan on uh, Gotta Be Mo. He said, always advancing, always challenging yourself, always conquering those goals and setting the ones. Yo, huge shout out to him. Um, and I don't, y'all probably don't know this, but in real life, this is a really, really close friend of mine, a great guy. Uh, from the moment I met him, he's always been a super great guy. He's helped me with anything, you know, that I've reached out to him about. Um, and I, I hope I've been able to do the same for him. Um, huge shout out to him, man. And it's, it's love as always. So um, that's the end of the comments for this one. If you want, you know, for me to check out the comment, drop it in the comment section down below. Um, I'm going to go through and start responding to them too, uh, physically. I'm just, I'm trying to get back to this YouTube thing and, and trying to do it the right way and really show love the way, you know, I should. So, huge shout out to y'all. Um, I appreciate y'all. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We got more, gotta be more content on the way. And I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>
I've been running from emotions I don't wanna feel. Been at it so long, I don't know if I'm gonna heal. My cousin cut his journey short cause he ain't wanna live. They say you need to take a break, but I just wanna win. And if it ain't no other options, I don't wanna bend. Patience.